are you going? Are you going to the beach? Hmm? It's a great day to go to the beach. Great beach day. Yeah. It's really nice and warm out. It's a good day to go, I think. Mm, I think you pooped or something too. You fired it. I don't even know if this will still fit you. Yeah. Does it fit? No. Doesn't? Let's see. Oh, you're still tiny. It does. For some miracle. <laughs> Going to the beach? Oh, you got your puddle jumper too? Maybe we'll have to go swimming someday. At the pool. Swimming. Let's go to the pool. Bobby doesn't really want to wear a bathing suit right now. You gotta get back in shape. Get my body back. Bailey. Are you going to the beach, Bailey? Let's go to the beach. Beach, let's go get away. What do you think, Bill? <laughs> she going to the beach, girl. You even got your towel. We're going through some stuff today, Bye. and she found okay. that. <laughs> oh, you're all ready! Wow, look at you go. Good morning. Yay! Finally vlogging again. <laughs> Trying to. We've had a very rough week or two now. And if you have me on Facebook, you've probably seen that we had a loss. We lost our baby that we were going to have. And now we have an angel. <laughs> um, so, on Tuesday, on the 11th, I was scheduled for an ultrasound, so I went and had my ultrasounds, and I had like a normal ultrasound, and then the guy that did it wanted to do an internal one as well, but he wouldn't tell me why, of course, and I guess they're not really allowed to tell you anything anyways, the ultrasound text, unfortunately, so then I like just waited and I had that done. And she didn't really say anything either at all. Like, I had no idea why we were doing this. I didn't, I thought maybe it was because I had like a C section. I don't know, because I had surgery. I thought maybe my uterus and my uterus is like heart shaped. So I thought maybe that's why. I never had to have it with the first one. But they didn't really pick up on it at first, I guess, with Leah. They didn't really pick up that the, the uterus was that shape. For some reason, I don't know. They noticed it right away on this one, but whatever. Anyways, I had that done, and then they said the results were being sent to my doctor. But when I called, like the doctor's office was closed, obviously, and they were making some changes. They were changing offices or something. So they weren't working their normal hours anyways. And then on Wednesday, my doctor actually called me, or the secretary actually called me and asked what happened at the ultrasound. And I said, I, I had the normal ultrasound and then he wanted to do an internal one. So I did. And then she was kind of asking, like, so they didn't tell you the results or anything? I said, no, they didn't really say anything about that. And she was, like, kind of humming and hawing and, like, trying to find the words I could tell. So I kind of got a feeling that something was wrong or something wasn't right. And then she said that, she's like, well, I really hate to tell you this over the phone, but they couldn't find a heartbeat. <laughs> I couldn't find the baby, like, so that was really crappy news over the phone, but it was, yeah, it was pretty tough that day, and my mom was here, actually, when I got the call, so 
It was a little bit better. I had someone to talk to right away. And then I called Logan right away and told him. And we were both pretty upset for a bit. And, and then on Thursday, I had a regular doctor's appointment anyways. And it was just to discuss the ultrasound because she had ordered them early. I don't know, she did with Leah too. I had my first ultrasound quite early with her too. So they're just kind of like dating scans, just kind of make sure everything's okay. And I'm really glad I did, obviously. So I went to the doctor Thursday and we just talked about the options and what happened and everything. And she said that the... Like, I was supposed to be eight weeks, almost nine weeks at that time. Or, yeah, when I had my doctor's appointment. And the baby was only measuring. Hey, she is smacking her baby over there. The baby was only measuring, like, seven weeks. So it obviously had stopped at some point then. Like, a week or so before. So, yeah, and then we talked about whether, oh, she is mad at that baby, I don't know why. You're so mad, how come? You couldn't get the diaper on it, so you got really mad? No, man. Yeah. You got anger issues there, girl. <laughs> you gotta just calm down. Just, just chill out a little bit. No! Yeah. So, we talked about like the options and she called like different OBGYNs in the area and was asking if they could like come and see me or if I could see them and talk about like, cause I just wanted it, I just wanted it done. And over with because they said like we could let it happen naturally and I really need a shower right now. I'm just gonna warn you. But I haven't got there yet because this one has been non stop. Stop please. No Huh? No Anyways, yeah, we talked about either DNC or letting it happen naturally or whatever other options there were. She mentioned that there was a drug, but she didn't really, she wasn't promoting it or anything. So I said, well, I just want it out. I just want it over, like, quickly. So I was kind of leaning toward the DNC at first. Just to get it done and have it over with. So then she referred me to a doctor, like a gyno in Truro. I actually went to the Truro Women's Clinic. It's fairly new. And it's pretty nice. So we went there on, well I had to have Thursday. I did that same day. She sent me for blood work at the hospital just to check my HCG levels to make sure they weren't still high. Make sure I was officially not pregnant anymore, but it was pretty apparent. And... Yeah, I had my blood work done, and then I had to wait around forever and a day for that. And then, because my blood type is negative, it's A negative, so I had to have the Rogam shot for like RH negative people. Because apparently, if you ever get pregnant again, like your blood, I don't know, something, the platelets in your blood will like fight off. A fetus or anything. No, Thinking that it's something no, strange in there. I don't no, quite Mikey. understand it. I've ex they've explained no, it to me like a dozen times, but I'm just like, whatever. I have this condition apparently, and that's what you gotta do. So I had that shot, and that was really fun. In the thigh. So we had to wait and wait all day that day, Thursday, and then Friday. I got into the OBGYN really quick. Well, it wasn't quick, but it was quick to get in. He said he was to see me the next day. And then I waited there, and he was in the hospital, of course, like an emergency. So I had to wait for him to come back to the office. 
And I had Leah with me, so that was really fun. So I didn't think it'd be that long. I wasn't really thinking that he was going to be on call and not actually in the office when I was there waiting. So we finally got in there and he talked about the different options and the DNC and like he obviously, they're obviously going to kind of promote, I don't know, they're not really going to push anything on you, but the DNC is, he said it's a really simple, easy surgery and like I just, I've been kind of, I was thinking about it like the last day before that and I didn't really want to have another surgery and be put to sleep and all that fun stuff. It's just day surgery, but wasn't really too pumped about it. <laughs> so I said, like, I just wish there was like a pill or something I could take and it just could speed up the process. So he said, yeah, there is. It's a misoprostol or something. They're pretty nasty pills, so I'm going to tell you. <laughs> If anyone has ever taken them, they are pretty hard on your body. Oh my god. They did, however, work. I'm pretty sure that it's all out. Should be by now. But man, oh man. They uh, have made, kicked me on my butt. They, like you did have to insert them internally. <laughs> And the symptoms weren't supposed to be as bad when you did that instead of like swallowing them orally. But man, oh man, ugh, the nausea and like the cramps. Oh my god, they were really bad. So I was like, I took them Friday night. So I had to wait. Oh, I had to wait in town all day. For all that, and then I had to get a prescription and wait for that, and I had to get them at Sobeys, and Sobeys has the slowest pharmacy, oh my god. I don't know why I don't just switch, but I have everything, all my records and everything there, so I just keep it there, but oh my god, I don't know if it's just, is that just normal for pharmacies, but they'll say like, okay, it'll be like 20 minutes, half hour, it's usually like an hour at least. And it's so frustrating because you have to stay in town. And I always have Leah with me. And it's just not always like, you know, doable. It's super annoying. It's one of my pet peeves is waiting for prescriptions. <laughs> Gonna lie. But I wanted to get it that day and just start it and get them started and get it over with. Because he said it would only take like a few hours and then I should be you know should be starting and then it would I kind of assumed from that that I would feel better in a few hours <laughs> after I didn't think it would take like days and days and days to run through and just oh like it's I don't know I guess it's a big a big thing for your body to just go through it all and get back to normal. Apparently it takes time. But I wasn't expecting it to be this long. And it's been so gross. I was just, I was so nauseous. And I was actually throwing up on Saturday. And then like, kinda halfway through the day I started feeling better. And then Sunday I was kinda scheduled to return to work. So I was like, whatever, I'm feeling better. I think I'm okay, I can, I'll can. i try it. I worked 11 to 7. Well, I only made it until like 2 o'clock and I had to go. Like I, I left around 3, but I had the worst pains and cramps. Like, oh my God, I don't know if it was just like my uterus contracting, if it was actually like a labor. But man, it was awful. The worst pains. Like I've never went through labor with her because it was a planned C-section. Uh, we never had to experience that and I never want to. Let me tell you, it was bad. Like, ugh. I'm, I think I'm pretty strong. I'm fairly strong. You know, pain, but ouch. It was bad and then just like, 
this past week or two, or even since I've been, like, found out I was pregnant, I've just had no appetite, really, like, I'll make food and I'll, like, want it and crave it or something, but then when I eat it, I have, like, a few bites and I'm just so full. So I just really want to feel normal again. I just want to get back to my own self and just get over this. I'm so sick of it. Like, it's just so gross. It's gross, Leah. Isn't it? It's just so annoying to not be able to, like, eat and, like, it's so hard to cook meals every night for your family when you get, like, can't even think about food. So then yesterday, most of the day, I felt great. I felt great when I woke up. And I was able to eat lunch and everything. Like, we went to my mom's because she was off. And I have a really bad glare. I'm trying to get rid of it, but it's just the sun or something. So I felt pretty good most of the day. But then around three or four, it just hit again. And I was nauseous. And I got cramps. And yeah, it really sucked. We made homemade pizza for supper, and I just I couldn't do it. But, like, thankfully I can take stuff for it, for pain and whatnot. So I did take Pepto-Bismol, and it worked amazing. <laughs> it did actually work, but it didn't last. Once I got to bed, I started feeling nauseous. Again, and I should have just got up and took another one or something, but I don't know. So then I haven't been sleeping right at night time. I haven't been sleeping very good. Thankfully, this one has been, though. She's been sucky, staying in her sucky, own bed all night. Sucky. You're sucky, yeah. What are you doing with that? A money, a money. And your bunny. Blanket. Yeah, and your blanket. <laughs> hmm? So yeah, just have not been doing good, haven't been vlogging, haven't been doing much of anything. Been like running in town every day for appointments, which I'm so over. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't really work this week until Thursday. I wanted to pick up shifts, but I just haven't been feeling like it at all. Now today, I woke up like, well, I was awake most of the night. Just feeling gross and tossing and turning. And yeah, so I got up this morning and I like was down starting a fire and stuff. And I was so like dizzy and lightheaded. And I don't even know. I'm not too bad now. I had some breakfast. I need to have a coffee or something though. But I'm hoping today is better. I think it's finally going away. Because it was awful. Something I never want to do again. Like, as of now, and people say, well, you'll probably change your mind in a few years. I don't know. I have no interest in ever going through this ever again. <laughs> Pregnancy. Like, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. But we got one, one little girl, and she's happy, and she's healthy, and she's pretty good most of the time and she is all we really need I am pretty content with her with just having one because that way we can do more things with her hey. and she is getting so independent hmm? she's growing so much Bye. that I just wouldn't want to go Bye. back to the baby Bye. <laughs> so I believe like even though it was super sad and it's super heartbreaking. I am all kind of over it. Like, is this too early to be over this? But, I don't know. I believe that everything happens for a reason. And that, you know, someone above. I'm not really, like, super churchy or Christian. But I do believe in God. And I believe in people above us. Like my father. 
who's watching over us, and Logan's grandfather. And I think that they looked out for us, and there was obviously something wrong with the baby. And they caught it early, so that, you know, saved a lot of heartbreak later. And we just, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't right. So, like, I'm so thankful it happened now. And not, like, at the end of, like, full term or something, or even halfway through. Like, I would be totally heartbroken, I'm sure. At this point, like, we didn't really feel it move. It was only, like, seven or eight weeks. Really, I only just felt sick all the time. <laughs> so I really wasn't, you know, overly attached, to be honest, because it had just been misery up to that point. So, I guess it wasn't meant to be. We just meant to have little Leah, aren't we? So, oh, don't punch me. Yeah, this is why I only want one. Actually, immediately after I got the call from my doctor, she had a permanent red marker and drew all over her arms, all over her legs. I was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we have one child. Because that's insane. So, it's kind of a long rant, but I wanted to explain it all, what happens, and how we're doing. I'm hoping to be better by the middle of the week, I'm really hoping. I just want to get back to normal. I just want to feel good again and be able to get back to work, back to my normal self, and start losing weight again, because I gotta get up body back. Baby, baby. Yeah. Is that your belly? Hi. Hmm? Ow. Yeah. So we've been like just parting with all of our baby stuff that I've been saving for two years. I'm slowly oh. letting go of it. Yep. So if there's anything that you need, anyone watching this, just like comment below or baby. shoot me a message on Facebook. Mommy. Ian Robinson. Yeah. Hey. And we'll see if it's still available. The crib is already gone. Well, it's spoken for. I offered it to a girl I work with. She is expecting right now. Her first. Yeah. So she's pretty excited. And I wish her all the best. So I offered it to her. And, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I gotta go through. A lot of clothes. She had way too many clothes, honestly. You had way too many clothes. You still do. Yeah. Well, you don't have near as much as you used to that fit you right now, but... As a baby, you had a ton of outfits. You had a ton. Because Mommy liked to shop. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we're gonna end it here, and we're gonna try to do another vlog today. I need to wrap Christmas presents, so I'll try to vlog that, and I'm trying to finally do the what I got my kid for Christmas. Hmm. Make a video later. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you later. You say bye. Messy hair. She has her bathing suit on because she wants to go on the beach. So it's a bathing suit top and a pajama bottoms. Goodbye. See ya. See ya. See you later.